All right, Shalom, Shalom, Akim. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Mokakadash. I'd like to give double honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well and taught me the truth according to the Bible. And Shalom to all the brothers out there throughout the full of earth, pushing this word in our righteousness and sincerity. Shalom, Brother Kazapa from Jimmy S. Raleigh, North Carolina, come back with another quick lesson through the Spirit Empire of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. And this is just another GMS newspaper, as you see. Is in the news, it says ACLU, all right, which stands for American um, Civil Liberties. It says, um, uh, let's see, it says ACLU goes to war with South Carolina to demand mass mandate in schools. All right, so you see, they, 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 I mean, they're even going for your children right now, man. Okay, it says, in a seemingly strange twist. For a group dedicated to upholding America American civil liberties, the A the ACLU is demanding that the state of South Carolina allow its schools to mandate their students to wear masks, face masks. Students with disabilities are effectively being excluded from public schools because their peers are not forced to wear masks to class. The, the American Civil Liberties Union tweeted on Tuesday declaring that courts must intervene. Okay? So as you see, man, the people are being divided in America, man. Okay? You know, and this is all what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, who the word who calls God and Jesus Christ said was going to happen, man. Okay? Divisions, man. Okay? Wars. And that counts for what? Race, not only just race wars, but class wars, you know, infightings, okay, civil wars, all right. It says, going to someone, it says, the ACLU filed its suit alongside disability rights, South Carolina. It says, able South Carolina and unspecific number of parents. It says, they are, they says, they did not. Explain how children with disabilities were being discriminated against under the under the mandate, which does not prevent children who want to wear masks from doing so. Instead, the ACLU cited that the Americans with Disability Act, the A, the A, and the Rehabilitation Act observed that. Vulnerable students, particularly those with existing conditions like diabetes, which put them at risk if they caught a uh, crown royal, were being effectively excluded from public schools. So basically, you know, these people are, you know, it is, uh, this is all set up, really. And you can see in the spirit, this is set up to mandate, you know, more restrictions on the people here in Babylon, okay? All right, but look, man, these people are divided, okay? And Lord Yahweh Shai said, well, this, a kingdom divided can't stand, man, okay? So let's get some scriptures, man. All right? Let's get this fun scripture. This quote in the, in the spirit. Uh, kingdom. Let's see. Yep, this is um and Lord Yahweh Shai is gonna be speaking. This is Matthew twelve and twenty five. And Yahweh Shai knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. Okay? So every kingdom that is what? Against itself, divided, meaning what split down in the middle, split into parts. It says against itself is brought to desolation. What destroyed and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. All right. And that's what you're seeing here in America, man. Okay. Yeah. How about Shemuel Shah is causing a division, man. Okay. Between, you know, households, people, all that, man. Okay. Let's get that division. Uh, the. All right, let's get this. There's the word division. Let's see. Let's 
Let's see. Yep. And as though you have a shot speaking again, this is Luke 12 and 51. It says, suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth. No, it says, I tell ye nay. So no, it says, but rather division. Okay. So you how about Shemuel was shy? Okay, it's bring what division to this planet, man. Okay, all right, division. Let's get this word division in Entomon. Okay, Let's see what that word division means. All right, the uh, division. All right, division is a noun. Uh, from the late fourteenth century, the act of separating into parts. Okay, so the Lord is what separating things into parts. This is a portion of shares separated or distinguished from the rest, a state of being and variance and sediments and interest. Okay, so what? You have people with different interests, man. You know, you might have a father that wants to get the MOTB, but then when the son doesn't, okay, or, or the daughter doesn't want to get it and the mother does. You know, hey, hey man, it's the Lord is bringing divisions, man. Okay, it says some more definitions. Uh, let's see, division, the act or process of dividing. All right, see so how about Shemuel Shai is dividing these households, man. Okay, it says some more. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty much it. You know, division, man. The Lord is bringing division, man. Okay. Now let's go back. All right. It says, uh, read again. It's Luke 12 and 51. It says, suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth. I tell you nay, but rather division. So how about Shemuel Shai is bringing straight division to this place in America, man. Okay. And you saw do that, that news article, man. The ACLU is, is coming up against uh, South Carolina, all right, for them not mandating people wearing these uh Terminator, these scorpion masks, man, okay, <laughs> and stuff like that, man, all right, you know, so this is the time that we're living in, the Lord said that what, these types of things is going to be happening, okay, let's get this, this is 2nd Edges 15, instead of verse 14, and it reads, it says, woe to the world and them that dwell therein, so woe unto what the inhabitants of the earth, which means death and destruction. Okay. All right. Those that are not a part of the elect of the nation of Israel it says, for the sword and the destruction draw of nigh. So what a sword and destruction is drawn nigh, man. Okay. A sword is any killing instrument, but your destruction is drawn nigh, man. So these people are going to catch pure hell. It says, and one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands. See, we're coming to the part. Or swords about to be drawn out, man. Okay? All right? Weapons. Okay? You know, things that cause bloodshed is soon about to come out, man. Okay? You know, because right now, it's what? One people will stand against another, man. That's those race riots, but it's also going to be a class riots. The civil wars. Okay? You know, all these things, man. Okay? You know, this is what we're going to be seeing, you know, in more and more in these last days, man. And then the Lord's going to really make it heat up, man. Okay? You know, but you see that what these can this kingdom is can't stand, man. All right, real soon it says verse sixteen, for there shall be sedition among men. I mean, what uprising against the government? It says what you see. All right, it says an invading one another. So it's gonna be home invasions. It says they shall not regard the kings nor princes, meaning the powers of authority. People are not gonna care what the the the, the mayor, the the governor, the president, your chief of police. You know, they, nobody's going to care what they got to say. It's going to be what? Every man for himself. It says, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. I mean, whatever a man desires to do in that day, he's going to be able to do with no consequences, man. And we're living in those times, man. Right now, it's just words being thrown back and forth. Some lawsuits here and there. But soon, you how about Shemuel and Shai, who the word because God and Jesus Christ is going to bring great death and destruction upon this place, man. Especially those that don't believe. All right, because the scriptures say all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Let's read that. Okay, and we'll end it off in that. Like I said, I just want to get this newspaper for the brothers. You know, this is uh, this is the book of uh, Second Ezra, chapter fifteen, verse three. Fear not the imaginations against thee. 
let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. So those that don't want to believe in this word, fine. That's cool. All right, go about your day. You know, just know you're going to suffer judgment later. Okay? It says, for all the unfaithful shall die in the unfaithful. So all the ones that don't want to listen to this word, you know, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and the Israelite foreigners, right, that look like the other heathen nations. If you don't want to take heed to this word, that means the Lord is going to destroy you. Okay? Because why you heard this word and didn't want to get right with the Lord, man. Okay? Knowing that he's bringing divisions and and, and, and swords and, and pestilence and, and just violence to this place, man. Okay? You want to be protected by Yahweh by Shem Shai, no matter what happens. All right? So hopefully, you know, this is edifying to the elected nation of Israel. Just want to get that newspaper for the brothers, for the Akim. Hey, man, divisions is here. All right, we're going to see more of them more and more as the days go by. And the Lord is really going to turn things up. Okay, you see it in the spirit. So with that, you know, hey, brother, stay safe. You know, always stay prayed up. Let it give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Kakadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well and taught me the truth according to the Bible. And shalom to all the brothers out there that the full cones of the earth pushing this word. And our righteousness and sincerity until next time to the elect. And say shalom and the Baba Ball.